This was the scene greeting Lindy Corporation crews after a water main ruptured on Larch Street in Scranton. About a million gallons of water escaped each day for several days. This was a big main and a big job. The water main itself was 18 inches in diameter. In order to stop the water from coming through the affected area, devices called line stoppers are used. Because of the size of this main, Lindy crews ultimately had to use three different line stoppers. This kind of water and gas pipe replacement happens frequently, especially in eastern cities where the water pipes and gas pipes are decades old. This hydrant, painted blue to show that it's out of service, was part of the original project here. You can see the date at the bottom, 1905. That means it's over a century old. This hydrant was eventually removed and replaced with something more modern. On the left, you see the six inch gate valve. To the right, you see a six inch tap two plug. Back to the hole in the street. Once the main and the leaking bypass valve were exposed, they had to be cut out and that section of pipe replaced. The cutting was done with a chainsaw specially rigged to spray water on the pipe being sawed in order to keep the pipe cool. This is a lengthy process as the pipe is made out of cast iron and is more than an inch thick. This section of pipe alone weighed in excess of a ton. This is the old section of pipe after being removed from the ground. On the left side of the pipe is the butterfly valve. On the right side is the four inch bypass line, which many on the scene suspect was the part which failed in the first place. It is important to note that because of the water stoppers which were put in place before the process began, even a pipe this large could be removed from the ground and not interrupt the Pennsylvania American Water Company customers. Throughout this entire process, not one customer was without water. Now that the old piece was removed, a replacement section had to be lowered in and connected. Lindy Cruz used collars to connect the new pipe to the old section already in place. There is considerable jockeying to get the collars lined up properly. Then the collars are tightened in place. There are lots of bolts to help secure the new pipe and they are tightened first with power drills before the process is finished off by hand. It is important to balance the water pressure on each side of the water stopper for it to come up. A corporation is hooked to the main, a one inch section of copper tubing to let the air out and let the water in. Once that is achieved, the water stopper is cranked open by hand and after many days of waiting, the water can flow again, people near Larch Street can go back to their lives and they'll have water. By the next morning, the hole had been filled and the paving scheduled. Traffic is flowing again, but more importantly, so is the water.